questions. Somebody just texted me. Okay, stop it. Um, that is why. <laughs> It's Jay, and I'm here with the Confidential Bookshelf tag. It was created by Fictional Gooseberry, and I was also tagged by her. There's 14 questions that I'm going to be answering today, so without further ado, let us get started! The first question is, what is the oldest book on your bookshelf? And it's not the oldest published, it's just literally the oldest book on your bookshelf. And for me, that is... The Pixie Tricks books. I was obsessed with these books when I was younger. They're so cute. If you have like a small like sister or a niece or whatever, seriously pick these up for them. I don't know if they still publish them, but they are so funny. And the best part is you got to write in the back. And what child doesn't like writing in the back of their books? Just saying. Question number two is what is your latest book purchase? And mine is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I recently picked this up from the thrift store. Haven't read it yet. I'm sure it's gonna be good. But I don't know. We'll see, I guess. But I've heard great things about it, and I really want to watch the movie, but I want to read the book first. So this was my latest purchase. The third question is, what is your most expensive book on your bookshelf? And I actually don't know, because I buy all of my books from, like, thrift stores, so they're all really, really cheap. Or I get them off of Goodreads, so they're all free. So for that reason, I'm just going to go with The Complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Millen. No. I seriously still don't know how to say his name. But, I mean, it just looks expensive to me, and, like, the book is so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, look, it was $35. Now I know. $35 for this lovely book. It's actually my mom's book, but I just, I, it's so pretty. I love it. I mean, it's in my room. I kind of stole it from her, but that's besides the point. I'm saying that it's mine. It was $35. Number four is, what is the most inexpensive book on your shelf? And as I said, most of the, my books are pretty inexpensive because I get them off of Goodreads or from thrift stores. So I'm just going to go with Teeth by Holly Black because I know for a fact that it was only a dollar. Question number five is, what is a book that you wasted money on? This stupid book. It's called 37 by Maria Beaumont. I hated it. I mean, it was still only like three dollars or something because I got it when a bookstore was closing, so everything was like majorly on sale. But I hate this book. It was so bad, and it took me so long to finish, and I feel like it was such a waste of my money. But you know what? Whatever. It's still on my shelf because I'm incapable of getting rid of books. Question number six is, what is the prettiest book on your shelf? And I'm a hundred percent going to say that it's Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler, and I'm obsessed with this book. It's not really for the cover. I don't really care for the cover, but it's for underneath the cover. I think it's gorgeous, it's like roses, and I think it's so pretty. I'm like obsessed with it. When I f like found out that that's what it looked like, I like died. And also the illustrations inside are pretty cool. Like they're really talented. I wish I could draw like that, but I can't. I can draw stick figures. I'm really good at stick figure cats. If you ever want to see a stick figure cat, hit me up. I got you. I'm your girl. Question number seven is what is the ugliest book on your shelf? And I'm going to go with this one. It's The Star Side of Bird Hill by Naomi Jackson. I just uh, don't like it. I mean, it's an interesting cover. I just, I'm not into it. The eighth question is, what is the shortest book on your shelf? And that is Table Nine by C.K. Connors. It's a short story, so obviously it's going to be short, but it's only 32 pages, which is extremely short. So that would be the shortest on my shelf. The ninth question is, what is the longest book on your shelf? And I think I use this one for every single one because it's probably never going to change. And it is The Decision by Penny Vincenzi. It's 757 pages. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to buy a book this big ever again. Still have not read it because it scares me. Question number 10 is the book that you are currently reading and that is The Hand of the Devil by Vincent Dean Carter. It's pretty good. It's about a giant man-eating mosquito and I'm like really enjoying it because it's creepy and I like creepy and, and also I'm terrified of this giant mosquito because if that was actually real I think I would freak out and probably kill myself. Question number 11 is what book are you hoping to read next and I'm going to say The Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss. I've had this book in my possession for so long from Brittany over at Brittany's Book Find. I'll leave her link down below. I want it in a giveaway. But I've wanted to read it so badly, I just haven't gotten around to it. But everyone says it's amazing, so I really should read it some point soon. Would be a good idea. Question number 12 is what underhyped book do you love? And I'm going with The Death by Cody Keplinger. I know it got very popular when the movie came out, but to me it's still an underhyped book and it's always 
going to be one of my favorites. I love it. It's such a good book. Read it if you haven't already. Question number 13 is what overhyped book on your bookshelf do you love? And I'm going with Divergent by Veronica Roth. I love this book. Uh, it's always still going to be one of my favorites, even though it's very overhyped. I think it's very good, and if you haven't read it, which I'm pretty sure you probably have, because realistically who hasn't read this book, then read it, because it's good. And question 14 is, what are three of your favorite books? And I'm going with The Death by Cody Keplinger, obviously. Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrae. I love this book. And I'm also going to go with Beastly by Alex Flynn. That is also one of my favorites. I read it back when I was in, like, grade 7, but... I love that book. I actually don't own it. I don't know why I don't own it. I really should own it because it's one of my favorites. Alright guys, so that was the confidential bookshelf tag. I will leave everybody I'm tagging down below. If you haven't done the tag already, I tag you. Just go with it. Do it. Tag your it. There you go. So I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Question number 13 is what? Under height? No, just kidding. That was the last question. Question number, wait, 13. Quick, Beastly. Who's that by? Who's that by? Why don't I know this? I should know this. And on my little, 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 the bookshelf confidential, no, the confidential bookshelf, that's close, whatever, change up a couple words.